we've gotten a few guys back here, so you know there's going to be a little bit of uh, chemistry that needs to be built here, you know, quickly uh, with a short series. But I mean, we got you know I think as much talent as any team really, you know, and uh, it's all about coming together and gelling for uh, you know 15 wins or whatever it is you need here. It seemed like you guys were having fun out on the ice here with some of the new guys, Remy and those sorts of folks. You feel like you're getting the band back together a little bit? Yeah, you know, I think we all know the guys that came down and they've, you know, they've been gone, some of them longer than others. And, uh, you know, I think they'll step right in and do the job that needs to be done. So we're just trying to, you know, gel together, like I said, and, and get ready for this first game on Thursday. Well, Lax talked about how it's kind of not the telltale end of your career, but you're certainly on the back side of it. So when you get a playoff opportunity like this, is it more special? Is it more intense? Is it uh, a little more nerve-wracking for you? Because, you know, games like these are not going to come around, you know, much more often for you. Yeah, I, I, I know I got maybe a year or two left of me probably. And, uh, uh, yeah, you want to take advantage of these opportunities. You know, we've been lucky here to be, be in the playoffs seven times in the nine years now uh, I've been here. But you know, each each year it's a different set of obstacles. You know, a different team, and uh, you just got you just got to take advantage of it. Uh, we've talked about it in the locker room. You know, everybody needs to be ready, needs to contribute. Even if you're not playing, you need to be ready. You need to practice. Guys are going to need to come in and out. Uh, people get hurt. It's it's all about taking advantage of those opportunities to set yourself up for you know next year if you're looking for something. But uh, the, the better your team does in playoffs, it it helps the whole group out. Mo, you, you haven't got out of the first round in a while. Uh, I know it's not easy just push the button and go into the second round, but uh, how much do you think about that and how much does it motivate you to, to, to win a series? I mean, yeah, we it's it's been our goal all, all year to make it to the playoffs, and now that we're here, we, we obviously want to go as far as we can. And uh, me personally, I've been here for, for all of them, and you know, there's a few other guys in the locker room that have been here the last, last few years when we've gotten knocked out early. So we got to use that as motivation if you need to use that as motivation. But I think everybody in there should be motivated enough to, to come out and play as hard as they can because uh, we want to win a championship. We don't want to just get past one round. So that's that's really our main focus is, is to come here Thursday night and uh, get off on the right foot, start off uh, that first shift, the first period, and uh, just go from there. How does the heavy style that Ontario plays affect the game that you guys want, want to play? Uh, I mean, it doesn't. I don't think it's going to affect us that much. We're more of a speed team than, and if you can take their over aggressiveness to finish checks and make a miss and use your speed, that means, you know, they're usually, if you're going to play that style, you're not quite as quick. Use your speed to get past them, get around them. You know, we got quite a few guys on our team that can fly on the ice, and uh, you start backing guys off, they're a little tentative about stepping up and, and maybe taking those big runs and those big hits. It, it can open up the ice that way too when they start running around. We just have to be able to make the plays, uh, you know, crisply, and and move the puck fast. <laughs> well, with uh, with sort of the next wave of That's prospects great. that are making their push, you know, you, you could almost say your ice time is reduced this year, but you still have the league in assists and you led this team in points. Are you just that good, or kind of what led to it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's obviously you know a group effort. Like I. I've said in my whole career, I can't have the success I've had without my teammates. Uh, you know, a lot of it goes into the power play. I'm lucky enough to be, you know, out there in the big moments in the power plays, five on threes, and where I get more opportunities to produce than, than some of those other guys. But I think it's been, I'm getting older, which is no secret. And, you know, I'm, I'm not as quick as a lot of these guys. So they've, they've kind of been able to manage my ice time. I haven't been killed penalties or anything really. Uh, to try to keep me fresher for five on five and uh, you know power play opportunities like that. You still played seventy five games. How do the legs feel? Hey, I mean, they feel fine. I <laughs> like I said, I don't move around that fast out there, so <laughs> I can't feel too bad. What do you recall from the last championship, and how do you you know use that to, as a, as a motivation or, or experience for the rest of the team? Yeah, I mean, it, the guys that have been here, you know, Macker, uh, Dolls was here. You know, that might have been it. I don't. I don't know if that's anybody else, but you know we can. If anybody needs to ask questions about what to be, to expect, you know those are the guys. We had other guys who have been to the finals, you know, Rawls, Bods, and guys who've won championships, McKenna, and like we've got a lot of guys in there. And you you obviously use that as a you know experience more just to keep yourself calm in those situations where you might get a little panicky, and other young guys might get a little panicky. You calm things down that way. Uh, every year, like I said, is so different that. 
I don't know if you can really use it as looking back on it. It was like the team we had back then was a team that was, you know, we gelled and we came together and it was pretty much all year long. We were, we were you know, top of the league and really, really good. We knew we had a good team. It's, uh, it's something that has to come together each year individually. You know, all the guys have to gel and, and buy into it. And uh, you, you just look back on it. If you, if you need to point to anything or help the young guys out that it's happened before you've been through it, 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 it can happen. And, uh, you know, use that in that way, I guess. Has this team gelled yet, do you think? I mean, I think I think down the down the stretch we've we we really came together. I think getting into the playoffs, uh, we had a you know great. We've had a resiliency all year where we've been down in the third, we've come back, we've had played a lot of overtime games. Uh, things like that are going to pay off, I think, in the playoffs because every game's going to be tight, and we've been through it all year. I think we've played in the most playoff game or OT second most OT games in in the league, so. It's something that, again, we can fall back on knowing we've been there, we've done it, we've come back, we've scored late goals to tie games, six on five, uh, you know, late in periods, we've come back from two down in the third, and it's it's just more of a reassurance to us knowing we can do it. And now it's just those guys that have been gone for a little while with Heater and Dickinson and uh, and Remy that they come in and they're, they're going to buy right into it because they want to come here and win too. If you could change the playoff period to another – Tradition, playoff, Mohawk, playoff, whatever. What would it be? It's a good one. I don't know. I'd. Uh, yeah, maybe we just go playoff cul de sacs on the head, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Anybody else with a hard hitting question for Travis? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we don't got much.